Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And today we're gonna to talk about DJI's latest firmware update happened earlier this month. We've been waiting for a few weeks to try to, to get into that firmware update. Uh, what I do tell people sometimes is to wait it out a little bit, wait a week or so, if you can stand it to do that update, see what happens around the internet, check on the forums and on Facebook and see what people are saying. So we've been testing the update now for a little over a week and we haven't had any issues. So is it worth it to update? So that's the big question right now uh, for a lot of fan users they are calling our store and they're asking us like, well, should we update? Should we not? Should we wait? Um, most times I tell people to wait it out a little bit and then go ahead and update after, you know, some other folks have, have gone ahead and, and updated. So um, just to let you know what's included in this new update, how it can benefit you. There is a no fly zone around Washington DC in a 15 mile perimeter in the metro area. But other than that, there's some pretty cool stuff in this new update that's gonna help you out. So stay tuned and check it out. Okay guys, let's go ahead and dive right into the new firmware update by DJI, the 3.12. And we're gonna talk about the first thing on this list is the no-fly zone in Washington, D.C. It is a 15 mile perimeter around Washington, D.C. metro area that is a no-fly zone. Some people are reporting that they can fly closer to that zone. They can get up off the ground. If you can get up off the ground and, and it's 50 to 100 feet, let us know because we'd like to know if that's actually true or not. Um, that's kind of a rumor out there on the internet. The next thing is the compass calibration program has been optimized to improve reliability. We haven't had a lot of issues with this one. We had this Vision Plus since last March, uh, no flyaway problems, but that, you know, that experience varies with everyone depending on your flying conditions or uh, hardware. So um, the next thing on here is when fail safe engages. This is pretty cool because if this is coming back to home now, and this is one of the reasons why we think you should update because this really helped a lot of people out when they're coming to home. Previously in the software in 3.8, you had to specify your, your come to home uh, meter rate, how high you wanted to be when you come back home. So with this new firmware, we can now avoid obstacles as we're coming home. We can fly left and right, and we can go up and down as it comes back to the home plate. You know, this is great for avoiding trees, mesas, uh, telephone poles, shrubs, cars, uh, people, or whatever that stand in the way of the home point as you're coming home. So uh, also great for folks that are out over the water and they're flying over the ocean. If you're way out over the past the breakers and you're coming back home and you're going to not make it past the low tide line, if you're on a, on a dying battery, you can increase your altitude and come in a little further than, than is expected. So this is definitely worth it uh, alone, this feature alone. And the next thing is, uh, number four is the fail safe automatic landing has been completed. So the motors have stopped spinning. You can now immediately restart the motors and begin a new flight. So that's definitely worth the update in our opinion. Uh, so let's go ahead now and we'll show you how to to get your copter updated at 3.12. Okay guys, here we are on the desktop on the computer. We've downloaded the latest software off of DJI.com. Go to the product that you have, click on that, go to downloads, and if you have a Mac or a PC, pick the software that you need to download. If you're on a window computer, please download the wind drivers, install those first before you install the Phantom Assistant software. So you're looking for the latest version of Phantom Assistant. And once you get that, go ahead and open the program up. Yes, we can open that up. We trust that it's from a good source. Now, right now we don't have anything on, so we're gonna go ahead and hook up the cable to the Phantom. And you're going to hook up the cable to the front of the Phantom, as you see here. Okay. And you can use, by the way, you can use any Android cable that you have laying around the house to hook up to your Phantom and update your software. Those of you who have lost your DJI cable, go ahead and grab an Android cable from the store or uh, around the house and, and go ahead and do your firmware update. So no need for a DJI cable. So we're going to turn on the transmitter first. We're gonna turn on the copter next. And it's gonna go ahead and give us a few announcements, click through those. And we're gonna go ahead now and we're gonna see if our sticks are moving. So we do have some channel monitor activity 
everything is hooked up. We can go over to the upgrade tab and you can see here that the latest version is indeed 3.12, 3.12 over here to the side. Right now we have 3.8 on there and we'll go ahead and click on this to update. Yes, we will allow that. That's just our, add our, our firewall. Allow all those connections to DJI. So, okay. Now it's gonna give us an overview of what's new in the current version that we're upgrading to. And we'll go ahead at the bottom right, we're gonna go ahead and click on upgrade. Do we really wanna upgrade? Yes, we do. So now it's gonna take a few secs to go through it and you'll see the progress bar on the bottom. It is updating, so no problem there. The beep is totally normal. Let it go ahead and finish. And it's gonna ask you to power cycle and you're gonna click okay. And the power cycle just means to turn everything off and turn everything back on. So we'll go ahead and click OK. Now you see a blank screen here on the upgrade screen. We're gonna turn off the Phantom. Okay, and now we're gonna turn off the radio. And one of the things that we always tell people before you do a firmware update indoors, or you do any work on your Phantom indoors is always remove the props. So just in case you're watching this for the first time. So go ahead and turn back on your radio and reach over and turn on your phantom again by pressing once, holding two secs. Okay, and now we see in the upgrade menu that we are up to date. So now we're running 3.12 on our Phantom Vision Plus. So that's it guys, that's all there is to updating to 3.12. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, it was quick and easy, and you updated your firmware, and now you have all these new features that we talked about. So uh, have fun out of the field. Thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis of DroneCamps RC. Please click subscribe.